Now, if I do this properly, I can rotate back and through, and you'll notice my head stays very still and very stable. That allows my eyes to have much better hand-eye coordination and to be, have a lot better proprioception. And I have three T's set up here. And if I can clip these T's without hitting the turf, then I know that I have really good consistent contact and I can control my low point. So if I do this correctly, I'll be able to clip these T's just like that without actually hitting the turf. Now that's not anything special that I'm doing. It's just getting set up in the correct way, making it easy for my body to perform with a lot of control. The very first step here is as I set up to this golf ball, I have to get my spine tilted in a way to where I can rotate in the backswing, rotate in the downswing, and that spine angle is gonna stay pretty consistent. My spine angle isn't shifting or swaying or moving around a lot. It's gonna stay pretty stable the entire swing. That's what I call the stable fluid spine. And what this means is, as I set up this golf ball, if I take my shirt buttons and my belt buckle here, and I put this club in front of it to kind of represent where my spine angle is, I'm gonna tilt my body away until that would kind of hit the inside of my left leg. So my spine angle's tilted away just a little bit at address. That sets me up in a position to where now, as I go to the top of the swing, I can easily rotate to the top without moving my spine. Notice how I can also rotate to the top and now my head doesn't move. What happens if I start to maybe set up with my weight straight up and down or even favoring my right side and I get that reverse pivot? When I get a reverse pivot, look how it tilts my eyes. Now all of a sudden my eyes are being tilted this way. I lose a little bit of my hand-eye coordination, my proprioception, my spine angle is kind of moving around there. It's a lot more to time up. It's just a little bit more difficult doing it that way. I'm not saying you couldn't play good golf doing it that way. I'm just saying, it's a lot harder to play good golf, consistent golf doing it that way. So I like to get a little bit of tilt away, get that tilt locked in, spine angle on my left leg, rotate to the top, keeping the head very still. And then from there, you get a little weight shift to the left, which kicks your spine a little bit more tilted. So at impact, I'm gonna be a little bit more tilted than that. But notice my head didn't really move a lot as I did that. So I can get this little shift to the left, but my eyes and my head didn't move. If you watch a lot of great players, basically, I shouldn't say a lot, every single great player, as they come down and hit that golf ball, their eyes are gonna be behind the golf ball. If I start to do this, I'm gonna be coming over the top, chopping down into it. So that's what's gonna allow me, setting up with the tilt, rotating the top, steady head, keeping that tilt. As I come down the downswing, I get a little weight shift to the left, but again, my eyes stay steady. As I put that all together, that can be very consistent and it's easy to hit the ground in the same spot. Now there, I'm purposely clipping a tee. I'm not touching the turf, but I could do the exact same thing when I get a golf ball here, and now I'm just gonna swing down and hit a little bit more turf. So I'm gonna hit a few shots here, and we're gonna notice where my divots start. I won't see a lot of them in front of and behind the golf ball. I'm gonna see them be very consistent in front of this golf ball every single time. So let's go ahead and make a little tally there. This is kind of the line that my ball is lined up on, and we'll see where this divot ends up in relationship to that line. Notice my spine angle and my head stay nice and stable throughout the entire swing. All right, so just got a little small divot, brush the turf in front of that one. Let me take a little bit more of a divot. With a long iron, you're not gonna take a big divot. I actually hit that one really well, but I'm gonna do a little extra. I'm gonna hit down a little bit more just so you can see it easier. There we go. Hit that one perfect, right down the middle of the fairway. You can see it roughing it up with this, this four iron, this longer iron. Let me go ahead and try to hit another one. On this one, notice my head in both the backswing and the downswing is not gonna be moving around very much. Yeah, and again, right on the exact same line, a little bit of a divot brush to the turf in front. Now, as I switch over to say a wedge, let me go with a pitching wedge here. The exact same principle applies. My tilt is gonna be a little away at address. As I go to the top, I'm gonna to be staying tilted away. And because this club is a little more loft, as it hits the ground, it's gonna take a little bit more of a divot. There we go, we see that's in front of that line on all three of those, all those examples. Follow those tips, you're gonna be a lot more consistent with your entire bag from a wedge all the way to the driver.